Hey guys, this is froggy 2 k 9 and today I'm going to be teaching you HTML. Yeah, HTML is, for those that don't know, what the website what websites run on. This is like YouTube, Google, Facebook, whatever. It all runs on HTML, so I'm going to teach you how to basically use it. And I'm going to be doing this step by step. Nice, easy steps to follow, really slowly explain everything as, as much as needed. So the first thing I'm going to tell you is the best thing for making HTML, right? The best thing for HTML is Notepad++. Now you, you could have any word editor such as Notepad to create HTML, but Notepad++ is the best one. Link to it will be in the description. Here's Notepad++. It, it does stuff like, it, it colors text, so if I'm coding in HTML, I could just literally just type in um, just type in HTML and close the tag and it would color that. Yeah, I haven't got it set up to I haven't got encoding set up yet into HTML. I'll show you that in a second. But the second thing is, I'm going to be teaching you how to use HTML5, which is the latest version of HTML. Now, to use HTML5, you want one of the most up-to-date, one of the most up-to-date web browsers, such as Google Chrome. Google Chrome is usually kept nice and up-to-date by Google, so it is it is running on the latest version of HTML5. You will find that Google Chrome will be the best one for you. Plus, I'll be using it, so I suggest you start using Google Chrome to keep up with this. Okay, so after you get your Notepad document, what you want to do is you want to open your file. You want to open a new. You want to open something new. All right. So now you got a new. You now you got a completely new document. It's an entirely new document, ready for me to code. But wait a minute. I want to do something first. I want to go file, then save as. And you want to make sure you save as whatever you're going to be encoding in. So I'm going to be doing HTML. So you can do it straight from this. This massive, massive line of different co encoding, there's the hypertext markup language, so you want to find a hypertext markup language, which is what HTML stands for, and you want to name it, whatever you want to name it as, it's, it's up to you, it doesn't really matter how you name it, it doesn't matter at all, so I'm just going to be naming it um, my website, this is going to be just a basic website, to start with. So now now I've got it encoded to HTML my website. So next you want to go to encoding and then you want to one sec, no sorry it's language. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, it's language. Find H and then HTML. Nice and simple. Now Notepad will recognize that I'm encoding in HTML. So the first first piece of code you want to include inside your HTML document a first piece of code is you want to tell the web browser what doc type you're using, what document type you're using. And the easiest way to do that, just type in your doc type. And then you want to set it to HTML. Nice and simple. There you go. Doc type done. Alright. And then you want to set up your main body of your website, your main, your main, your main tags you're going to be using, right? HTML uses tags. Everything revolves around tags and their attributes. I'll be showing you what I mean in a second. So your basic tag for normal HTML would be for your HTML, and then you're going to want to close your HTML. Nice and simple, yeah. Open and close HTML. All right, but but we're not finished yet. What we want to do now is we want to create a head. Now the head is where your coding is going to go, all the stuff that runs up in the background is where the title is going to go, stuff like that. Just all sorts of little things that you aren't actually going to see, but it's going to be running in the background. Next is your body, what the user is actually going to interact with, what they're going to see. So you want to create your body and then you want to close your body. Nice and simple. There we go. We got a basic, basic HTML loadout. Now, for HTML5, you can just put in a simple little update to this. And you want to add an attribute to your HTML line. And you want to, you want to call it Ylang. 
and you want to set it equal to quotation marks and you want to set it in there in for English. Now you can set it up to any language you're speaking at all. This will run on any language, doesn't matter what language it is, you just got to find the shortened version of that language for English EN. Nice and simple. Now that will be HTML5, right? That's that's all set up so you can start encoding and it will in, and it will print it out in English straight up for you. So example of that, example of the body and how the body works. So if I just typed in this, this is my website and I would save that right and then with with uh, Notepad++ you have a nice little uh, addition, oh, I can't find it now uh, where is it? ah oh, there it is it's a nice little addition to run it so you can launch it in Firefox or launch it in Chrome. I, I'm going to be using Chrome, so click Run and then Launch in Chrome. Nice and easy. There we go. Bomb. Done. This is my website. There you go. You have created successfully your first part to your HTML website. Next part of the tutorial is coming soon. Thank you very much. Please rate, comment, and subscribe.